it supports loops also. So let's have first loop. It supports both while and do while. Anyone tell me what is the difference between while and do while? Yeah, while we check the condition and we will execute the loop. Yeah, so if condition is true, without checking the condition. If condition is true, then only loop will execute. If condition is false, what will happen? It will come out from the loop. Yeah. So that we call it do while will at least execute one while I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yes. So let me if I can show you that is while same way you can use do while. Now uh, make this to zero. A basic two programming. Then I'll come to something something complex. If if user number is less than five, this body I want to execute. See in body, I you can do what you want. Yes or no? So I'll say user number dot now but if I leave this as it is what will happen this will become an infinite loop why this condition will remain always true that means what I need to do it I need to remember inside the body see automatically sequence got added yes straightforward what I need to say What is the variable name? User number is equal to user number plus one. You don't have any other mechanism. You have to do plus one. Run this. And output will be. So whenever you want to do the testing, which is this is the mechanism to do the test to see that okay, my execution is working fine or not. Okay. Okay. Any doubt, please. It's a very small example of the same program. What we do? So you have to write a condition. Based on condition, your loop will execute. Any doubt, please. So last example that I want to show you is for each. But for that example, I need to create a variable that I'll say I'll create an array of string. Array of string. str. What is array? What is an array? It's a collection of uh, same group of same data type. Relate same data, data, data type. Yeah, so I'm just using, uh, I'm splitting my name into three characters. Okay, this is the way in the normal programming also we declare an array. Now, if you want to iterate through, what we can use? We can use a loop while loop also okay let's see let's see this example first with the while loop then but before the while loop what i need to know i need to know the i need to know the how many times the array will work okay so i need a loop counter i need to know how many times the array will work so in that condition what i need so everything you have to do it you have to use an assign function okay and then you need to say str array dot count what is the meaning of count and where I'll store str count so if you see str count what is the type generic value you know that I don't want generic you can change it now what you can say a condition 
you can say what a condition what is the what what condition i am going to write y counter yes yes or no guys user num is my zero user number is less than what str array yes and then what i need to do right line in the body and i can say str array of of user number and not str array this is mistake this is the counter variable i need to use str count and once this is done you know that this will not execute this will give you an error you need to make what increment the value how to increment the value user number plus one pretty simple but here what i need to take care i need to take care of assignment knowing the count okay i need to or that, rather than storing the count you know here itself i can say see i'll, I'll show you the other way also different way of programming are there different way of programming are there how good you are able to write depends on you okay the next thing is rather than assign this activity taking one extra variable what i can do str array dot count here itself i can use it this is also going to execute the same way okay the best way of doing this is whenever you are having any collection whenever you are having any collection better you go for for each you go for for each okay the good thing is here just you need to mention the collection automatically it the item will be kept into for each loop now there is a catch here this go to the property by default it is an object and we know dot net in dot net object is the biggest type object is the biggest type okay so what will happen in this condition sometime it will not work hello sometime this will not work so what i need to do you need to go and change the type item dot to string see just i put this value so what it will do for each it will iterate through each and every item and put into the item variable that item variable you can use for writing but as i told you if some of the functionality will not work on item why the item is of type object you are always free to go and change the type any doubt so either you can why or you can use for each but whenever there is a collection collection means what any type of collection it may be array it may be collection of classes it may be collection of elements it may be a list always we prefer for each any doubt